Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you a really nice thing to learn in Blocks Fruits, and that is how to AFK with a sword that cannot AFK. Now, yes, what do you mean? You just said that a sword can't AFK. How do you AFK with it? Well, that's exactly what I'll be showing you today in this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it's free to do so. Now let's get straight into the video. So you may be wondering, how do we do this AFKing with any sword? It is actually decently simple. If you were to AFK with a regular sword, like let's say the Hallow Scythe, you would just grab your auto clicker right here and you'd set this to one or zero and you'd press start and then it would just keep clicking for you. As you can see, it doesn't move you forward whatsoever. And then you'd also go and eat a logo fruit. So hopefully I get a logo fruit from this guy. And that, that's, that's not a logo fruit, all right. All right, there we go. Flame, I got a logo fruit. Now with the sword that you can AFK with and or your fighting style and also your Logia fruit, you just go up to an enemy and turn it on. And there we go, your AFK. But it's different if you've got a sword that can launch you forward after like your third or fourth click. So let me go back to my dark blade right here. If I try this same thing on this guy, as you can see, I'll just be going forward. And then eventually, I'll make it all the way that the enemy cannot come up to me and I can't hit them anymore. So, that's not what we want. We want to get rid of that last click that launches us forward. One, two, three, four. So the fourth click is bad. Now we know that the first click doesn't launch us forward. And that's a good thing. So, we want to go back to our auto clicker. And instead of zero, we are going to set it to something like 200 and test it. As you can see, I still go forward. Maybe 400 and press start. As you can see, I'm still going forward. So that's not good. Now 1000 milliseconds is one second. So let's just put one second there. As you can see, it's still cycling through all four of those clicks. Now 1200. As you can see, I'm only doing the first click out of the four click combo, which is really good because I'm not going to be moving anywhere. Now, yes, this is going to make it so that you kill the enemies slower, but at least you can AFK with the sword. So if I teleport over to where this enemy spawns and then I turn it on, well, there we go. As you can see, the enemy can't hit me. I'm hitting the enemy and I'm not going anywhere. So this is the perfect strategy to AFK with a sword you can't usually AFK with. Now again, I'll show you what timing I have on my auto clicker. It is one second and 200 milliseconds. That's the timing I have. And it works perfectly. Or perfectly with Dark Blade anyway. Now just to make sure, let me try it with some other swords. So it looks like this timing works for all of the swords that you can't usually auto click with. So again, here we go, one second and 200 milliseconds. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.